Eating Your Words, A Journey into English Idioms. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of idioms, specifically the phrase, eat one's words. Understanding idioms like this can really spice up your English communication skills. So, let's get started. The phrase, eat one's words, is a common English idiom. But what does it mean? Simply put, to eat one's words, means to admit that what you said was wrong. It's often used when someone has to retract a statement or opinion that they were confident about. This idiom paints a vivid picture of someone literally consuming their spoken words, as if taking back what they've said. Understanding the origin of idioms can help us remember and use them correctly. The phrase, eat one's words, dates back to the 16th century. It's believed to have been first used in written form by a playwright. Since then, it's been a colorful way to describe the act of retracting a statement or admitting a mistake in speech. Let's look at some examples to see how eat one's words is used in everyday conversations. 1. After predicting the team would lose, John had to eat his words when they won the championship. 2. I might have to eat my words, but I don't think it's going to rain today, said Emma, just before a downpour began. These examples show how the phrase is used to express a change of stance or admit a mistake in prediction or judgment. Now, how can you use, eat one's words, in your own speech? Remember, it's best used in situations where there's a need to admit a mistake or retract a previous statement. It's a playful and informal phrase, so it's perfect for casual conversations. That's all for today's lesson on the idiom, eat one's words. I hope you found it insightful and are eager to try using this phrase in your own conversations. Remember, idioms are a great way to enrich your English and sound more like a native speaker. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.